I have a lot of friends whose husbands are fighter pilots and one of my mentors in college her husband was a fighter pilot and she's the one who actually introduced me to public health which is what my background is in I have a master's in public health and um, I can remember her when she was teaching classes that I was in, running out to take a call from her husband who's a fighter pilot and he'd be in Iraq or Afghanistan, wherever he was at the time. So that was kind of my first real experience with close friends who's, who were deeply you know, involved with the, with the military or the Marines. Um, and what interested me in this job was when I saw the job posting or the billet posting, I really, I honestly felt like this job description was written for me. It really is, it's pretty much, I feel like, sums up my career up to this point. Um, the only thing that was different about it was that it was working with Marines. I've never, working with, I've never worked with the Marine population before. I've always worked with young adult population, 18 to 24, um, you know, working with topics such as um, drug and alcohol prevention or substance abuse prevention. Um, tobacco prevention, domestic violence prevention, um, DUIs prevention, that type of stuff, but not with Marines. And so, although I hadn't worked with this population, the Marines before, um, to me that wasn't a deterrent. I thought, hey, this seems like a fun new challenge. This seems like a fun new group to work with. So I work mainly on the prevention side, meaning we want to work with Marines before they get to the side needing treatment or maintenance. So looking at managing stress levels before they get to, to be too much, to, before they get to be where a Marine can't cope, can't come to work, can't deal with family life. So on the prevention side of things, I think that it's very important for, you know, just the general having good time management skills, having a to-do list, setting SMART goals, which I think we all know are you know, the specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, time-worthy goals. But even kind of bigger picture, eating healthy, having a healthy diet, um, making sure you're getting your physical activity, making sure you're getting enough sleep. A lot of Marines don't get the, the seven to eight hours are recommended a sleep at night. And sure, it's easy to say, I have too much to do, you know, I only can get four to five hours. But if you kind of scale it back, many Marines might be taking in too much caffeine or too many stimulants. This was something I was guilty of as a college student. You might not even think about it. You're drinking coffee, you're drinking Monsters drinks, you might be taking the pre-workout. Some Marines chew tobacco. And if you look at all the stimulants you're taking in before you go to bed at night, that might be keeping you up at night and contributing to loss of sleep, which in, con which in turn is contributing to stress levels. So think about cutting out maybe one or two of those. Maybe it's just one energy drink you're cutting back on. Maybe it's a pre-workout drink you're cutting back on. You try cutting out one of those and it might be able, it might contribute to a better night's sleep. In turn, reducing your stress levels. There's nothing wrong with stress. I think that having stress in your life can be a good thing and stress dealing with stress can actually make us stronger it's when a marine or an individual is unable to deal with stress that it can become a problem and i think that all marines should be familiar with the stress continuum where you're in the green you're good to go the yellow is where all of us kind of go back and forth every day you know you're you're stuck in traffic you might feel a little stressed your muscles might tense up a little bit you might get kind of feel hot and prickly, a little anxious, but it's when you move to the orange that you become, in the stress continuum it's called injured. And when you move over to the red, that's when on the stress continuum it's actually labeled as injured, um, or sorry, ill. And the signs and symptoms you might want to look out for in a fellow Marine to recognize are things like changes in behavior or mood, difficulty sleeping, um, anxiety, unusual persistent sadness, irritation, or anger. So what that might actually look like in someone that you're sitting beside at work is if it's that someone's normally cracking jokes and upbeat and happy, if they're persistently, like every day, um, coming to work now quiet, not saying anything, always in a bad mood, um, or um, showing up to work late. Those might be some signs and symptoms to look for that something's not right, that something's uh, stressing them out.